Welcome back everybody. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 511. If you're watching these videos and maps and thinking, man, this would be great if I had my data in this map or if I had CMS data for my physicians and um, my referring physicians and those physicians that aren't referring to me in a map, I'd love to take your data and help you get it in a format so that you can do maps with your information as well. What I want to do today is flip from the heat map we did last time to what's called a region map. And so what I'm going to do, let's just click region map and notice when I do that I get categories back. If you've been watching this series of videos and you remember categories here when we had column charts and when we had a bubble chart, we lost it at heat map, region gives them back to us. So we can have categories now and we'll play with that in just a second. But let's watch what Excel is doing here. I have zip codes in my data. So what Excel is doing is it's mapping based on zip code and here are all the different zip codes that I have and if you look at the scale over here what Excel is doing is the lighter orange is where there are fewer referrals and a darker orange is where there are more referrals and if you've been watching these videos you won't be surprised to find that we can tweak that scale and we can tweak the color as well and we'll get there. What I want to do first is just walk through the locations there, the value that we're summing the data. We could take an average or a count or some other measure if we needed to. And we could play with time like we have in the past. Let's do category right off the bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do hospital provider and watch what Excel is doing for me. So here what's happening is provider is, let's, let's make this bigger so you can see this a bit. There we go. So if the provider is more than half, the county is going purple. If the hospital is more than half, excuse, and excuse me, the zip code. If the, if the provider is more than half of the data, then the zip code is going purple. If the hospital is more than half the data, see now the hospital is going orange. So see how my map changes with categories? For me, if I had category data I prefer these other mechanisms to show it. I think it's cleaner because I'm only seeing the dominant category, not all the categories in a region map. I think a region map's great to actually see the regions, you know, the zip codes mapped out in my data. I think that's very helpful. But category doesn't do it for me so much there. So I think um, what we can do is, but, but, but before we walk away from it, let me show you some options. We can sh we can shade based on category value within location. We can shade based on category compared to all other values or shade based on category value compared to other values in the category. Let's just flip this. And so now what I'm doing is I'm shading based on category value compared to all other values. So I'm not comparing within the zip code anymore. Now my colors are shaded based on the overall area. Now, instead of all of the values, I can shade compared to other values in the category. So I can say, this is my major purple one along with this and this. These are my major orange hospital locations. So that makes sense. Before you walk away from category, there are some options here. You can shade based on location, which just says purple or orange, period. And then this is, and, and the lighter orange means it's not as strongly dominated by hospital provider. This sh this category compares to all other values, so this is strong across both hospital and provider. This is just other values in the category, so now we're comparing hospital to hospital, provider to provider. If that helps you, and maybe your data will will meet and and reflect this better than my data does, you can play with it. I'm going to delete the category and just live with what I have. But they're there if you need it. The other thing I wanted to show you just briefly is if I go to layer options, what opacity we're used to, uh, the total, the, the sum we're used to, you could change the color here if you wanted green. You can easily do that. And you could go back to red or some other color. It's not hard to play with that. What I want to talk about is color scale just for a second. What the color scale is going to do is drive where is the light, and where is the dark? Watch what happens. We're at 17% now. If I go up to something above 80, notice that I anything over, you know, maybe 1,000, 1,500 is now going to go dark red. Whereas if I scale way back down to somewhere in the neighborhood of 17, 
now you've got to be nine, ten thousand to go dark red. You see how you can control what means dark red by changing this color scale? That's what I wanted to show you. If I think region maps are great because you can see by zip code your data. I think that's very helpful, and that's probably the best feature among these. Categories you got to play with a bit and see if it helps with your data. But what I hope I've shown you over the course of these last videos is here's a bunch of different ways to look at your data. Choose the visualization that makes the most sense for the data you're looking at. And you can always do two or three of them and combine them in a group. One last thing to say about regions. If you don't like zip codes and you want to do, oh, you know, northern Utah is this like sales district or this is where... This is who's responsible for these referrals, or this is who's responsible for this customer service area, or this is where the billing departments is. That this is they're they're assigned everything you know south of this border or whatever. You can load what they call custom regions into a 3D map, and it's way beyond the scope of what I'm going to do here. And I've not ever needed to do this, but if you wanted to put custom regions instead of zip codes or some other geographically defined thing, you can import a new set of regions, there's a KML or an SHP data type that you can build. And if you do that, you essentially they build polygons. They build these little shapes and say this is an area or a great big area is an area, something like that. That's what custom regions do if the regions that come with the geographic data don't help you. All that said, that's these options under data. We've talked about filters. We've talked about layer options. We'll continue in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.